the Chicago sky makes Teresa Witherspoon the scapegoat for their failed season. Hi, and welcome back to Davis Sports Report. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated as we drop new content. The Chicago Sky has officially fired head coach Teresa Witherspoon, using her as a scapegoat for what was clearly a front office disaster. In this video, we will break it down for you, or at least give you our opinion. First off, this season was doomed when the Sky lost their core players, Kalia Copper, Courtney Williams, Elena Smith, and Marina Mabry, without bringing back adequate replacements. Any real fan could see the writing on the wall. It was made even more obvious when they traded Marina Mayberry mid-season to the Connecticut Suns for basically nothing in return. Yet in the announcement of Witherspoon's firing, the organization had the audacity to say they remain steadfastly committed to being a playoff team and a championship contender every year. I mean, how could they claim to be committed to be a contender every year when they just offloaded nearly all of their key pieces. The skies aren't fooling anyone. They are in a rebuild phase, whether they admit it or not. And let's be real, the players knew it too, which is exactly why they requested trades. Then came the weak excuse for the firing of Witherspoon, a so-called disconnect with the players. That's just not true. The players themselves express their frustration with the organization firing of Witherspoon and showed support for Witherspoon publicly. It's clear the team wasn't the problem, the front office was. Lastly, let's talk about the record. Witherspoon's team had 13 wins compared to, compared to last year's 18 wins. But what was the expectation? I mean, seriously, what did you expect? What did the organization expect? Most of last year's roster was gone. The team was left with bench players and a couple of rookies, and yet they expected better results. The math is not math. So try as you might, Sky organization, to paint Teresa Witherspoon as the reason for this failure. But it's clear the fault lies within the organization and its poor management. This has nothing to do with Witherspoon's skills as a coach. It's about how the Sky organization is running this team into the ground. But what say you? Do you agree with the organization? Is this failure solely at Teresa's Witherspoon's feet? Do the players get a slice? Or do you agree with me? Is this solely or at least mostly on the organization? As always, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you in the next video.